हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी बिगिन्स विद द फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल ट्रैक्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द स्टमक मूवमेंट्स और द मूवमेंट्स ऑफ दिस स्टमक मिक्सिंग फंक्शन एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एसिडिक काइ हाउ द मिक्सिंग फंक्शन ऑफ द स्टमक अकर्स एंड वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एसिडिक काइ सो ऑब्वियसली फूड इन द स्टमक there will be the mixing waves of ber in the mid stomach mixing waves by ber means basic electrical rhythm inside the mid stomach and these waves to move towards the antrum once every 15 to 20 seconds more intense in the antrum action potential drive on peristaltic constrictor waves there will be the action potential drive in peristaltic constrictor waves forces contents to the pylorus it starting from the antrum and as it moves towards the pylorus there will be the strong contraction waves or strong constrictor waves of the musculature of the stomach pyloric muscle contract एंट्रल कंटेंट्स स्क्वीज इन टू द बॉडी एंड इट इज नोन एज रिट्रोपलजन सो हियर वॉट विल हैपन देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द एंट्रम सो दैट द वॉट एवर द फूड इज प्रेजेंट इन द एंट्रम पुस इज टूवर्ड्स द पाइलोरस बट हियर द पाइलोरिक स्पिंचर इज क्लोज और द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द पाइलोरिक स्पिंचर सो द फूड कैन नॉट एंटर इन टू द ड्यूरिनम so food touches the pyloric sphincter and revert back towards the antrum and body of the stomach again so this is known as retropulsion acidic chyme formation by the churning of the food inside the stomach so this is the mixing function of the stomach so that's how i already told you there is a strong constriction waves inside the body and it goes towards the antrum so whatever the food material is present over here it is goes towards the antrum and whatever the constriction waves begin from here as soon as it reaches towards the antrum and pylorus it becomes very strong so here the food content it's once it is pushed by from the body it is enter over here inside the antrum and near to the pylorus but here what happen there is a strong contraction of the pyloric sphincter so that the pyloric sphincter strong contraction the pylorus or the opening of the pylorus has already been closed so that the food cannot enter into the duodenum so what will happen the food will touch this content and it is revert back towards the body of the stomach again it happen many times so that what will happen the food will be mixing with the all the gastric contents as well as the hcl so this event is known as retropulsion so this event is known as retropulsion all right gastric emptying how the gastric emptying occurs there is a pyloric pump once the mixing of the food is over now the gastric emptying begins there will be the intense enteral contractions plus relaxation of pyloric sphincter whatever the food present inside the stomach will enter into the duodenum only when there is a relaxation of pyloric sphincter so here pyloric pump there will be the strong enteral contraction and there will be the relaxation of pyloric sphincter and it is regulated by gastric factors there will be the increase in the food volume and uh, gastrin stimulates the pyloric pump so if we consume the larger quantity of the food the emptying of the gastric contents will be much faster than that of the small quantity of the food second duodenal factors distension of the duodenum acidity irritation osmolarity proteins fats by enterogastric nervous reflex inhibits the pump so these are the how the pumps are inhibited hormones 
पोलिसिस्टोकाइनिन सिक्रिटिन गैस्ट्रिक इनहिबिटरी पेप्टाइड इनहिबिट्स द पम्प सो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स विच रेगुलेट दिस पाइलोरिक पम्प एंड इट इज द फेज ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक एम्पटिंग 